गुड आफ्टरनून एंड नमस्कार आज हमारे बीच उपस्थित हम सभी को आशीर्वाद देने के लिए यहां पधारे हुए परम पूजनीय धीरेन्द्र शास्त्री जी बागेश्वर बाबा जी उनके साथ इस बहुत ही सुंदर कार्यक्रम में यहां पर उपस्थित श्री अनिरुद्ध भोलकर श्री प्रशांत रुईया श्री अंशुमन रुईया हमारे साथी महेश दादा लांडे जी बाबा जी काले अमित जी गोरखे विनय कुमार जी चौबे अमित जी बजाज प्रस्तुत जी धौसे ऑल द डिग्नेटरीज प्रेजेंट हियर लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन At the outset, I would like to congratulate the Blue Energy for bringing a new EV revolution in the sector of cargo handling trucks. It is indeed a revolution because, apart from the public transport, we needed. the decarbonization of cargo handling the most as it was shown by anirudh in his presentation the cargo handling trucks are the one who are actually doing most of the pollution emitting all those gases and in our endeavor towards sustainability it is very important that all forms of transportation is decarbonized although the lng movement in decarbonization of transport vehicles began a few years back but what india really needed is or was to have its own indigenous manufactured cargo transportation vehicles which are nothing but the electric vehicles and today is the day when the blue energy has launched a state of art atmanirbhar made in india trucks it is like accomplishing dream of our honorable prime minister shri narendra modi ji who started the make in india movement in 2014 and today we can see that the entire complex engineering in automobile in mobility is designed engineered and manufactured in india and i am more proud that it is being done in maharashtra in pune this also culminates our efforts which started with an mou at davos and i must thank you for acting so fast normally when we enter into a mou people believe that it's something which is a mere hollow commitment many times people feel that it's just the exchange of papers but this shows the commitment it was not exchange of paper it was exchange of commitment and you committed and you delivered and that's why i want to congratulate you and now is the time when the company has already started its dream 
of expanding from 10,000 trucks to 30,000 trucks, a threefold increase, twofold increase in production line. I am very happy that the technology which you have built is most suited for Indian conditions. And especially the battery swapping is a game changer. As told by Anirudh, that the changes in battery technology is revolutionizing the entire EV sector. I could see the battery prices are coming down, the battery efficiency is going up, the battery life is going up, and I am sure today at one charge this truck runs 200 kilometers. In next two to three years, you will launch a battery whereby the same truck at one charge will run 400 kilometers. And I was briefed while I was taking a stroll around that this complex engineering is so simple that for a diesel truck you require 20,000 parts and here are only 20 major parts that define this EV. And I think that is the technology, that is the power of technology. And as rightly said by Prashanji, this is software on wheels. It's not a mere truck. It's not a mere EV. It is something which drives the technology which makes it smart. One can say that it is the Tesla movement in mobility of cargo. It is so smartly done that everything can be monitored remotely. It has made it not just sustainable, but it has made it very efficient and very accountable. So I think it will also reduce accidents. It will also reduce the thefts, which many times happens and which is one of the big headache of the cargo transporters. Everything will be taken care of because of the technology. And I asked one question. I said, we are the Jugadu people. So essentially, our drivers and transporters will overload it. What will you do? And then he told me that we have designed for overload. But not just designed for overload, at that very moment, it will tell how much it is overloaded. So it will also put some accountability on those who are overloaded. And uh, Commissioner Chobe, it will be very easy for you to stop a overloaded truck because the truck itself will tell you that it is overloaded. So I think all in all, it is such a great machine which you have developed, which is going to revolutionize the mobility and the transportation and logistics in India. I am sure that it will be welcomed by everyone. And the greatest thing which you have done is you are competing with the diesel vehicles in terms of price, in terms of cost. And when we look at the life cycle, I'm sure that you will be able to beat the diesel vehicles. And that is the only thing which diesel vehicle up till now 
had an advantage over EV, you are taking away that advantage as well. So now, the sustainability will not be only in the talks, but you have provided a tool for everyone to embrace sustainability. And I think that tool is this vehicle which you have developed. I'm very happy that Maharashtra government is very supportive of EV. We want to change the space of entire mobility and bring sustainability in that space. We have a very sustainable EV policy. We have a very sustainable alternate fuels policy. All these policies are aimed to make your business profitable because we know that once your business becomes profitable, the entire sustainability business becomes profitable. And for us to live in a sustainable world becomes easy. And that is why I would like to assure you that in your journey and endeavor to bring green mobility in India and Maharashtra, consider us as your partners will work with you for your Mumbai Pune corridor and for creating many such corridors for battery swapping and for battery charging, we will work with you. I must tell you that we have very robust solar power generation system in our state and by 2030, I'm sure that 52% of the energy which we use today will be renewable in Maharashtra and by 2035, it should go up to 75 to 80 percent. So this decarbonization will also help you in charging the vehicle with the decarbonized power which you have already set your goal. I would once again like to congratulate the entire team, the promoters, the engineers, the developers, the designers, the workers, the shop floor team, each and everyone for this successful venture and I would like to thank you for giving me this opportunity to unveil this revolution on wheel. Thank you. Jai Hind, Jai Maharashtra.